There you go. Hi, it's Taz and Cut here with Mark Higgins. Hey, you've been rallying for quite a while now. When did this all begin? Um, I started rallying, well, when I was sort of 14 as a co-driver, which is quite a long time ago on the Isle of Man, um, for my uncle. And then we did some local night events. It was a hobby for my mum and dad, so it was a big thing for us every year when the Manx Rally came to the Isle of Man, because that's where I'm from. And I uh, did my first proper stage rally when I was 16, because you can drive at 16 years old on the Isle of Man as well. But went professional in 1991. I gave up my job, and um, I've been lucky enough to be rallying you know, every year since then, and still rallying now, which is good. Who was your first co-driver and how did you meet? My first co-driver, well, I had different co-drivers for night rallies, but my first co-driver for a stage event was my mum. So I met her a long time ago. <laughs> um, yeah, mum was very good at co-driving. She knew the pace note system and everything. And uh, it was a really big help to me. So we did the Circuit of Ireland. We did a lot of rallies around the UK and uh, obviously started off with the Manx uh, National Rally, which was my first big event. What, <clears throat> what was your favourite rally car? Oh, my favourite rally car. That's a difficult one. Um, different cars for different reasons, I suppose. I mean, I started off with a Golf, which was my first sort of uh, international car. I then had a little Suzuki. We had the Honda. Um, my first works car was the Nova. I think my favourite cars really are the, the last WRC cars uh, that I drove purely because of the way they handle and everything they do. Um, but I've been lucky enough to drive lots and lots of different cars and they've all got different things I like about them. But I think the World Rally cars are probably the most fun. What was your least favourite rally car and why? Right, my least favourite, I would say, was a Peugeot 306. Um, we had that in 1995. We'd done a year in the Honda, and then we decided to go down this route. And it was a semi-works car, but it never finished any rallies. Um, it didn't really handle particularly well, and we just never had a really good feeling with the car. Um, straight after that, we went into the Nissan, which was when I started my British Championship assault to, to, to really be you know, fighting for the championship. And then we realised how bad the, the Peugeot was when I actually drove the Nissan. It was um, very, very difficult at the time, and it sort of put my career back a little bit, I think. But thankfully, we got the drive in something better later on, which gave us a, a good boost. You won the British Rally Championship three times. Which was your favourite win? Oh, that's quite easy, that one. It's got to be 1997. Um, it was probably one of the biggest years of the British Championship we had. Um, in total, I think there were seven manufacturers with two drivers, and every team had a driver that could win the championship. Sorry, do you want to do that again? <laughs> yeah, every every driver could actually win the championship. So it went down to the Manx Rally. Um, there was me, there was Gwyndaf, Evans, Alistair McRae, Robbie Head, and Martin Rowe, and we all had a chance in the last round to win the championship, and thankfully we won it. And the nice thing about that year was we had the most uh, fastest stage times of the year as well, so... It was probably one of the best years of the British Championship. If we look back in the history of it, it was a really big fight. And, um, yeah, definitely the best one for me. Do you ever get nervous before an event? Um, yeah, I, I, I do. I mean, when you haven't done one for a while, um, you know, I did the Manx Rally for the first time in seven years uh, a few months ago. And it's a different type of nerves. It's just getting yourself back into it again. Um, I think if you don't have nerves you don't perform well you need you need good nerves that's what i call them and it's adrenaline really getting yourself sort of geared up for for doing something so yeah a little bit but the more you do it the more you get used to it but there's always a, a good challenge it's always easier when you're doing a rally that you've done many times before but when you do a new one on new roads um maybe if it's icy or it's um tarmac and it's very wet that's always a bit uh, a bit different have you, <coughs> have you ever done co-driving have I done co-driving? Yeah, I, I did a little bit um, when I started for my uncle uh, before I was able to drive. And I've done a couple of rallies uh, co-driving. I did one in Latvia teaching a, a Russian guy. That was very difficult because I was trying to teach him how to drive and co-drive. So there was a lot going on there. It's a lot harder than it looked. And it was good to do some co-driving because us drivers get to the end of the stage. And we hand over 
all our stuff to the co-driver and think they've got nothing to do when they've got a big lot of workload, you know, to work out which way they go in, get all the timing right. So it was a good education for me to, to be on the other side. Was it fun? I don't know if fun's the word I'd use. I think because you're a driver, you you want to be driving all the time. Um, I think it'd be fun if you were the driver that's going quicker than what you can drive. But unfortunately, the drivers I was co-driving for um, on that occasion uh, wasn't very fast. So it was a bit frustrating for me. How's this year's rally going? Uh, this year's rallying has been a, a disappointing year, really. We were meant to do seven rallies in China, and then we had the Manx Rally. Unfortunately, China cancelled quite a lot of the events. Um, we've only actually done one in China and the Manx, so it's been a really, really quiet year. Um, I am actually going to do a rally in China next week, and then we'll have another one in January, and that will still be part of the 2016 Championship. So uh, the rallies we've done have gone well. Um, the Manx was OK. We were second on that to Elvin Evans. Uh, by five seconds, had a bit of a frustrating rally, but it was uh, good to be back on the Manx. And uh, in China, we were leading that rally. Unfortunately, we had a, a failure on the car, um, so we, we dropped um, a lot of time and places. Did you ever compete against your brother, David? Yeah, me and David competed a lot together. Um, we did a lot of karting when we started. So that was the first thing we did. And then uh, we've done quite a lot of rallies, but we've always been in different um, classes, really. The only time we were in the same class, I think, was in the British Championship um, in 2007 or 2008 when he was in the Subaru. But that was a new car for him, so he had a lot of problems with the car. And we were in the old-style Subaru. Um, so it was, a, yeah, a bit of a good, good fun to challenge David and be in the same rallies as him we always actually prefer being in different classes and our mum doesn't get too bothered about who she's cheering for. Let's put this on the side. I suppose I'll show you the back room. <coughs> you do a lot of other things besides rallying. Can you tell us about your stunt driving for the James Bond movies? Yeah, um, I got into... I've, I've done a lot of TV work for a lot of years with um, bits and bobs on Top Gear, Fifth Gear and things like that, but the movie work started... Um, in 2008, I think it was, with uh, Quantum of Solace. So they had a gravel scene going down a quarry, so they thought it'd be good to get a rally driver in. And that's how I got my first job in the films. We've now done um, the last three James Bond films, and we drove the Aston Martin on Spectre. I'd also done Fast and Furious 6, which was good fun. Um, got to drive most of the cars in that scene, um, in that film. And work, we've done another film this year. We've got another one we're working on next year, so it keeps me quite busy. Um, but I think I still prefer the rallying. That's my, my favourite. Does that make you a better driver than 007? <laughs> He's very good at acting, and I'm good at driving. So we let him do the acting, and he lets me do the driving. So, um, yeah, that's why we do what we do. Um, he's got a lot to concentrate on. Daniel's a good guy, and uh, you know he's very, very good at doing his um, James Bond piece. So, oh yeah, he, it's great for me because it gives me a job to drive the, the nice cars and be James Bond for a little bit. <laughs> My mum's a big James Bond fan. Can you get her driving a Bond car? <laughs> Tell her I'll do my very, very best for her. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your time. My pleasure.